Discord. No, sorry. So let's go ahead and talk about this do now. What, uh, what uh, ratio did we use? What trig ratio did we use? Which was what? Tangent. Tangent was what we want to be able to see here. Tangent of our angle is equal to opposite over. Looking at our problems here, what I tell you guys first to do? What is it? What is it telling us to look at? Label and identify. In this case, we have our angle Z. Angle Z is our reference angle. We got to be able to label hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. What is the adjacent sign? I'm going to try to trick you guys up. The opposite sign. Nine. Hypotenuse? So we have that. We know the tangent of angle Z is equal to the opposite of our hypotenuse. So what's the opposite of our hypotenuse? Okay. Could we solve this out? Yeah, we could, but we're not going to. We haven't, I haven't taught you guys that yet. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to teach you guys inverses tomorrow. Nope. Nope. That's not one of the ones we solved out for. This one would be asking you to solve for the angle. What is that angle value? I haven't showed you guys how to do that. We use what's called inverse ratios. And we're going to introduce that tomorrow. It's not hard, but I'm just going to teach you guys the ratios and teach you guys how to unsolve them. So it makes more sense doing it that way. The one to the right, we got to solve out a little bit more. Right? What's the first thing I want to be able to see? Identify the angle. So what is the opposite side? What is hypotenuse? The bottom. The adjacent side. Okay, I'm trying to mess you guys up because I want you guys to just see if you know I'm telling you guys which ones are which. Okay. The tangent of what? Of 53 is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So x over 17. What do I do from here? Find the tangent. So tangent of 70, or 53, sorry, 73. 53 is what? What did you guys get? 1.32 is equal to x over 17. Then what do I do? Cross multiply. When we cross multiply, 1.32 times 17 is going to be what? 22.44. And it's going to be equal to x. So that's the length of that side. The same concept we're doing today, we're going to kind of fill in. This is important. If you can get today, we're good. If you can get today, we're good. Cool beans? Okay. Here's your answer to your homework. Let's kind of look this over. Click on there. So. Here you guys go. Here's your answer key to your homework. If I can access it, it goes to chapter 18. Tangent. Those are your answers. Check them out. Did you have to reduce them? Are supposed to simplify? You didn't have to simplify. It simplifies forging. You don't have to. In this case, I think one of them was 16 over 30, right? Or one of them was? Yeah, the first one was 16 over 30. So this is just reducing. We're all going to show you the reduced forms. But I'm going to ask you guys for the test. You don't have to reduce them. I will show both of them as answers if you do, too. If you even want to give me decimals, I'm okay with that. Cool beans? Questions? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we do we round the decimals. Number seven. Let's do number seven. I heard some requests. Uh, they're writing them from this one, but you don't have to. No, I'm sorry. So, now it's hot. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Yes, sir. Find the missing side about to the nearest. What, what, uh, uh, what is our reference angle? 60 right here, right? The opposite side is 18. The adjacent side is X. Hypotenuse is on the top side. Tangent is going to be equal to 60. Tangent of 60, sorry, is opposite over adjacent. 18 over X. Tangent of 60 is 1.73. Cross multiply 1.73x is equal to 18. Then what do I do? I divide. Divide out, we get x is equal to 10.39. And you guys probably got 10.4. They got 10.4. It's okay. If you're one one hundredth off, you are okay. I'm not going to be like, you're forever wrong. Okay, let me give me let me give you like questions? Yes. Number ten? Maybe just a ratio, are we okay with that? Opposite is the opposite side, adjacent is down here. We're using tangent of twenty is equal to x over what's that bottom number? Sixteen. I know what I did. I accidentally put it. Uh, Flipped it. Uh, no, I put 21 on it. I didn't say 21. Uh, 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 That's good. Thinking about it too much, Val. Thinking about it too much. Question? Okay. Here we go. What I want you guys to do. Is copy down the following. Uh, yeah, this is this. Is, you can write on the notes. That's fine. You can write on there. No. Just copy down this top. You don't need to copy down the bottom portion. Just copy down this top right here. All we're introducing now is we're understanding how to set up the trig ratios. Specifically tangent we did yesterday. The jump we're making today is no different. We're now going to incorporate the hypotenuse if we're given a side. So all we're doing is we're introducing hypotenuse. And with hypotenuse gives us two new ones. The two new ones happen to be sine and cosine. Pull out your calculators if you have them. You guys will definitely use them today. 18.2 is sine and cosine. We're not going to look at, we're going to look at solving harder problems to these, but once you understand the, the basic idea of these, you're going to be good. It's all gravy, baby. So you can do it. See, like now I wish I would have like had handouts to give you guys because then it'd be boom, print it out, go, next slide. It just takes a while for you guys to write these things down, which is understandable. I've got to give you guys time. But I want to make sure we're doing it.
Now, here we go. Let's look at what sine and cosine provide us for. If we do the first one, so copy down this chart here, just as we did with all the other ones, we're going to write these all together. We're using the reference angle as A. So just copy down that picture. Our reference angle we're referring to is A. And all they did was they labeled the opposite, which is the opposite side of here, O. They labeled the hypotenuse on top, which is H. And the adjacent side is A. Nothing different than what we've been doing. Now, what's the one that we did yesterday? What was that called? You remember? Tangent. So if we just discussed this one yesterday, we'll just rewrite it. Tangent of the angle A would be equal to the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. We've already known that one, and we're still going to use it. You're going to use it on today's homework. Now, the other two that we're going to introduce is sine and cosine. Sine, using still the same reference angle A, is going to be the opposite over hypotenuse. So new one. So same reference angle, same, same kind of setup, except now we're going to use the opposite and the hypotenuse. Our cosine of our angle A is going to be the adjacent over hypotenuse. And what the big confusion that most kids mess up is they're like, what if you give me a problem, which one do I use? You give me three now. But they're not going to be all be the same, so which one do I use? I'm going to show you, baby birds. I'm going to show you. I got you. Okay. There's an acronym we use to show this, and I'm gonna, we're going to write it down right now. Okay. So we're not doing anything different. We're using the same setup, but this time we're given two new things, which is our adjacent and our hypotenuse and our opposite over hypotenuse. So this is what we want to be able to see. If you got that, we're good. Now, the acronym we use, and we write these down. We already did that. Write that down on top. So, ka, toa. This is just like your PEMDAS. Okay, your Roy G. Biv in anatomy, right? What does Roy G. Biv tell you, do you know? The Colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet. Oh, yeah. Did I miss out green? Roy, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Right? There's, is there an, an acronym for the kingdom or the plant species or the kingdom, kingdom phylum order genus species? Kings play chess on Friday, generally speaking. Have you heard that one? No. Kings play, no, have you, no? Kings play chess, no? Okay. I'll be used to it. So this is one of the ones that we're gonna use. Here's how we're gonna grab, here's how we're gonna grab our ratios. What do you think S stands for? What do you think S stands for? Sign of the angle. Pull out a Y. Pull out Y. What do you think the C stands for? Coast. So each of these are represented by the name of the trig ratio we're going to use. And tangent or T is going to be represented by what? 10. I think I just gave that away. Whatever. Oops. The ending portions to them tells you what sides you're going to use. The O and the H tells you going to be opposite over 
Hypotenuse. What do you think the AH is going to do? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Learn it, love it, live it. You're going to do this. And opposite over adjacent for our tangent. If you write this down every single time, this will make more sense for you. This will make extreme sense for you. On all the problems today, I want you to copy this down because if you copy this down, you can't mess up. I want you guys to get used to it so much that you're going to write it down so much that you're going to use it. Is this hard to get? Do we see where everything's coming from? It's a big jump. Solid, we're good. Here we go. Are we ready? Yes. Now, what I want you guys to do, I'm going to change it around from my other class, and we're going to skip this. Copy down this picture, and we're going to show all three trig side ratios using Sokotoa. We're all gathering this together now. And let's, let's just do, just so we can have more practice on the real stuff, we're just going to do sine of A. We're just going to do sine. But we have the other, re other reference angle. We can use the other reference angle of C. But we're just going to show all trig ratios with these. What's our reference angle? A. A. And what acronym did I tell you guys to write down every time? Sokotoa. So, ka, toa. All day, every day. All day, all day, right? Better? You have it. You have it. If you, if you get to pull out, how many H's can you pull out? Now, with this, what's the next step? What, what do you think we got to do? We got to label our sides. What is our hypotenuse? What is the adjacent? What is the hypotenuse or the opposite? All we're really doing now is we're putting this all together. So we're creating all these different ratios using the same angle. Same angle. So what is going to be my sine, sine of A? What does sine tell me to do for so? So opposite over hypotenuse, which is what? 10 over 26. Good. Good stuff. What's going to be our cosine now? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over beautiful. Which is what? And then the one that we've done a lot of is going to be the. Val, do you need a pass? Do you need a pass? You need a pass? Okay. What is it going to be? So opposite over adjacent, 10 over. Do we solve these out? No. We're just showing the setup because if we can understand the setup, we're solving easy, right? We just cross multiply and solve out that way. Now, this is going to be a little bit more tricky. We're going to learn this tomorrow. How do you solve for the angles if I give you two sides? How do we undo the tangent function? What, what do we do? Right? It's like, it's like saying, how do we undo addition? Subtraction. How do we undo division? How do we undo tangent? Oh. So that's something we got to cover. Not hard to understand, but we're just learning to undo it. How do we undo a square root? Square. Right. So there's different ways we can look at it. So that's how we have to operate. Okay, here we go. Now let's look at a problem. Now, 
The biggest question we're going to look at is the following. So we're going to skip this. Don't copy down that. Copy down this one. And we're going to do two examples. So make this one A. It's kind of important. We're going to both have them be A. They're different functions, but they're going to be, or different problems, but they're going to be the same kind of thing. Now, this is just, this is the extra step. We're almost one step away from solving real problems, and it's kind of important that we do them this way. Now, what we're going to get here. Let me check to make sure. Now, we're not given three sides. We're given specifically two. Without doing any work, and I know some of you guys can do this by now, what trig ratio should I use for each one of them? Because it just says for angle A. Do we know? Let's, let's check. Let's figure out why. Is it cosine? Or, or, okay. Let's see why. No, I'm going to show you a way to do it. Hold on. Don't get ahead of yourself. There's a reason why it's cosine. Now, what we're going to do first is do the traditional things that we've always been doing. What's the first step we usually do? Label and find the reference angle. Our angle reference right here is A. Let's label all the sides that we have. What's the opposite side? BC, right? I'm going to put a question mark. I want you guys to put, we don't know what the opposite side is, question mark. What is the adjacent side? 36. Hypotenuse is always the longest side. Now, what was the acronym I wanted you guys to put down every time? So, Gotera, on every single one of these things today, I want you guys to do this. Now, the question a lot of you might have is, which one do I use? Why? Let's look at this. What, if we're given this triangle, we already labeled it, what, what letter are we missing information? Uh, o. o. So what I want you guys to do is circle O. Do we have any information on O? So circle the O's up in your Sokotoa. Anything with O's, we can't use. So that leaves which one? Ka. Ka. So we're going to use cosine to solve this one out. Cosine of our angle A is equal to what? Adjacent over hypotenuse, which is? If you do it this way, you'll never mess up. Sokoto is very key when solving these problems out. Does that make sense? Helps out, right? It makes it thinking at it. It makes it easier to think without really solving. You're like, oh, I don't know which I have it. But if you know exactly the problem that you're missing, you're always going to be able to solve that backwards. Let's look at the problem to the right. Let's do this one now. Let's see if it changes or we're using sine or tangent. What's the first step? Label, find a reference angle. So angle A is up on the top over here. We got to label all of our sides. Hypotenuse is going to be? 36. Opposite is going to be? 21. Adjacent is going to be? AB. AB. We don't have any information on that. So we're just labeling the sides just as we would any other time. Now, what do we do for this? What do we do? What's the acronym? Not yet. You're getting ahead of yourself. I love what you're doing. Okay. Toa. Now, again, we want to find out which acronym we're going to use, which ratio we're going to use. What part of our triangle do we not have information on? So everything with A, what do we do with it? Everything with an A, we cancel out. With an A, we cancel out. That leaves me with what? So, which is sine. Sine of our angle A is equal to what? Is this easy or hard? That's all we're doing. Half of your test. Half of your test. You're scared not that I was a spider.
Oh, he wants to go out? We'll let him out. Yeah. Where do you go? Right there, like right above the board. Yeah, right above the light switch. Like right above the light switch. Just a little. I saved a lot today. It was. Nobody comes back in. <laughs> it's under here. That's his fault. No. Are we cool with this? Let's get to the more setting up. Let's get to the more setting up. Let's get to the real problems. If you can understand how to do this, the real problems are no harder. So let's gonna do this. Um hold off. Look at these ones. Um go ahead and copy these down. I'm gonna copy down the we're gonna we're gonna do both of them and I'm gonna give you guys your homework because this is it. This is it. So it's find the length or find the side length using sine and cosine. Okay, we're gonna use sine and cosine. We've done tangent, so we're okay with tangent. We're just gonna introduce sine and cosine. If you have your calculator right now or your cell phone, please pull that out. We'll be using that. Again, turn it out to the side, make sure it's in degrees. Um, and we'll be we'll be solving this out. So again, follow the same steps, the same steps never change. The only thing that does is which one we choose to use, right? Which which uh Ratio we choose to use. Give you guys about 10 more seconds before we kind of jump in with it. What is my first step? Label. Label. What's my reference angle? 30. 30. So it's going to be in this little corner down here. Let's label everything. What is uh, my X side? What is that? Opposite. Opposite. What is the other side? What's 11? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always the longest side, right? It's always the longest side. That means the bottom has to be the. We don't have any information on the adjacent, right? What do I do next? What's my. So, I could tell it, write it down all the time, all day, every day. Yeah, all day, all day, right? We always want to write that down. Helps us determine which. Which one we're going to use, right? Which one are we missing information on a triangle? The adjacent. So everything with A, what are we going to do? Cross out. So cut goes away. Toe goes away, leaving me what? So. Sine. So let's set that up. Sine of what? 30. Gives us a value this time. I know what you mean. Gives a value. This is what we're actually solving this time. Is equal to what? X over lambda. Over lambda. Opposite over hypotenuse. What do we do? When we solve that issue, what do I do now now? What do I do now now? <laughs> we're going to do the, 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 the sign of it. So sign of 30. Uh, check, check that again. Point 0.5, should be point 0.5. Sine of 30 is a nice angle, so it should be point 0.5. What do I do here from now? Cross multiply. I'm going to get x is equal to 11 times point 0.5. 5.5, half of 11. Is this easy or hard? It helps when you have it structured, right? There's a lot of guess. There's a lot of less guessing when you when you just write through the Soka toe. It helps it out. It does help it out. Cool beans. Can we try one of these out? How much more time do we got in here? Four, like 10, 14 minutes. Okay. Sixteen. Oh, sixteen minutes. Jesus. Plenty of time. I'll get. I will do one more together, and I'm have you guys try one. No, I'm not going to tell you what it one is. Okay. Here we go. Let's look at the bottom one. I'm going to clear this. Let's look at the bottom one. Copy number three, example number three. It's very closely remember, uh, resembles the third one or the, the second problem we did. If I can get my word right, my, bleh, my wording right.
Follow your steps. It's going to work out. What's our, what's our first thing we got to do? Label. label. Always label. What is the hypotenuse side? The adjacent side? Okay. Opposite side, we don't know any information, so we're just going to leave it as a question mark. Nothing is new to that. We did that yesterday. What do we write down now? So, so Katola. Just get used to it. Just get used to it. Which part of the triangle are we missing? Opposite. So everything with O, what do we do? Cancel out. Everything with O, that leaves me with what? K, man. Come on, K. What do we do now? What's our... What's our ratio? What do we have right there? It's going to be what? Cos 29. Beautiful. I'm going to cry. You guys are making me so proud. I'm a baby. Baby, I cry all the time. What do you guys get for cosine? 87 over x over 17. What do we do here now? So this is going to give us this, and then we're going to cross multiply. We're going to get x is equal to 17 times 0.87, and what you guys get? Four. Cool beans? Yeah? One more problem, and then I'll give you guys your homework. I want you guys to try this one out if you guys haven't done it. Cool? Cool? Yeah, yeah, man. Cobains. Here we go. Let's try this one out. This is all we're doing. You guys are rocking it. Tell me. Now, I'm not telling you which one you're going to use. It can be sine, cosine, or tangent. Decide. Solve this one out. And we're going to end there. We're going to end there. So, again, first step is to do what? Label. Second step is to? So Katoa, determine which one you're missing, plug it in, and solve. Is that what you guys got? Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. Cool? All I did is I set up my ratio, found out that A didn't have anything. 
So I want to be able to use so, uh, sine, so Katoa, sine. I set up my ratio, sine of 59 is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. I solve that out, reduce down, 21.17. Homework time? Okay, here we go. Do them all. There's 12 problems. The first six are very easy. The last six are very straightforward. It's telling you you're going to use the sine one in the beginning, cosine second, and tangent last. This is just practice and review now. This is not on school loop yet, and I'll be posting it right now during lunch. It's fine. Uh, Yes, once uh, you can't do that. So only four of them. So you can't do them this one. Dang it. Print out the wrong one. Check out school loop, it'll give you the better one. There you guys go, okay? Go ahead and get started on it. You guys still have about six minutes. If you guys want to get ahead at least the first six problems, you might be able to do them all. Some of you guys might be able to do them all. So, go for it. 